Sam Groth. I'm 29 years old from Melbourne, Australia, and I've been a professional tennis player for the last 11 years. My game is maybe a bit of a throwback. Big serve, trying to get to the net, try and play a pretty athletic game style, but I definitely don't want to be stuck in too many long rallies. I grew up in a country town in New South Wales, which is a you know, state in Australia. I was playing every sport. I grew up playing basketball, Australian football, cricket. Tennis is just a sport I really loved, and I was never much good until I was you know, getting towards late in my teens, I guess. I had to make a choice whether I was going to the Nationals for tennis or the Nationals for the Australian Football Carnival. And when I went to the Tennis Nationals, I ended up making the final um, and then got an invite from Tennis Australia to move to Melbourne. And that was the last time I kicked the football around. And you know, since then, it's been pretty much all tennis. Once I was sort of out there, I felt like it was tougher than I thought. I struggled to get past that 200 mark, and it took me you know, quite a number of years. It was probably only three years ago that I really finally cracked through. 2016 was a tough year for me. 2015 finished on a high end or low. I guess I was career high 53 when I uh, had to have foot surgery and then having the Australian Open so early in the year, I definitely rushed back. Probably wasn't ready to sort of kickstart the year straight away. I won around in Melbourne before losing to Andy Murray and then sort of had a bit of a struggle. Came to the French Open where I drew Rafa, um, which is not, not an easy draw for anybody at the French Open. Turned up at Wimbledon, a tournament I thought I could do well at, and I drew Kane Ishikori in the first round. That first six months of the year for me was really tough and you know, sort of led to me dropping out of the top 100. I think I got down to 280 approximately at one stage in the latter part of the year. And for me now, it's been about building again. Uh, I won a challenger event in Vegas um, and got my ranking back to 180. It's a spot moving into 2017 where I can make a push back towards the top 100 again and work my way back.